the chances of men living and dominating Mars look so slim many years ago that right now, there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Join us on today's episode of how technology is dominating the world as we talk about how AI and robotics will help us colonize the red planet, Mars. Before we dive right in, take a minute to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. A History of the Early Robots on Mars Once upon a time, humans embarked on a mission to explore the planet, Mars. The journey started in the 1970s, when the Soviets made their first attempt to land on the red planet with their Mars 2 lander probe. Unfortunately, the probe crashed and became the first human-made object to collide with Mars. Undeterred, the Soviets tried again with Mars 3, which managed to land but failed to communicate with its creators. Mars 6 was their next attempt, but it lost communication before it could even touch down. Nonetheless, the Soviet Union was commended for their tireless efforts in this regard, but it was the Americans who made history when they successfully landed Viking 1 on Mars in 1976. Although it didn't accomplish much, the Viking 1 operated for an impressive 2,200 Mars days or SOLS. However, the real breakthrough in Martian exploration came with NASA's Pathfinder mission in 1997. Pathfinder brought along a companion, the Sojourner Rover. A tiny robot resembling a remote control car, Sojourner was able to roam around Mars for 86 souls and most importantly provided us with the first ever glimpse of an alien planet through its front-facing camera. It was an incredible feat of engineering and a milestone in the quest for understanding our place in the universe. The Spirit Rover of 2007 was a knee-high wheeled robot that carried a plethora of sensors and cameras, and it was followed by the Curiosity Rover in 2012. This dune buggy-sized rover was equipped with a robotic arm capable of digging and analyzing soil samples, and its mission was to search for evidence of microbial life on Mars. Currently, Opportunity Rover, launched in 2021, continues to explore the red planet and gather valuable data. Successful Robots The Opportunity rover, which closely resembles its predecessor, Curiosity, has not only operated for longer than any other Mars rover, but it also delivered the first ever flying machine to another planet, the Ingenuity Helicopter Drone. In 2021, China launched its own robot to the red planet, the Zhuang rover. Although smaller than Opportunity, the Zhuang rover is more advanced in terms of scientific and exploration capabilities, making significant contributions to our understanding of Mars. As we look back on what we've accomplished so far, it's hard not to wonder where we go from here. While the rover designs have been an effective workhorse for Mars exploration, scientists and engineers are already envisioning the next generation of interstellar explorers, one with legs instead of wheels. The harsh, uneven terrain of Mars presented challenges that wheels alone cannot overcome. But with this innovative change, we'll be able to navigate the planet's rocky surface with greater ease and precision. Legs would allow robots to climb steep inclines, jump over obstacles, and maneuver through the rough terrain of Mars. The Mars 2020 mission, which included the Perseverance rover, took this approach and included a small experimental legged robot called the Mars Dog in its payload. This robot was designed to test out the feasibility of legged robots on Mars and help NASA determine if it's a viable option for future missions. While the Mars Dog wasn't a full-scale robot, it was able to demonstrate that a legged robot could move around on the Martian surface with ease. As NASA shifts its attention to robots with legs, the latest technology in this field is the Boston Dynamics Sport Robot. This four-legged robot is a smaller and less intimidating version of the Big Dog, which was originally designed as a military support drone for ground combat. The Spot Robot can carry 14 kilograms of weight and move at a top speed of 6 kilometers per hour. Its advanced AI obstacle avoidance algorithms and 360-degree camera vision make it an ideal candidate for Mars exploration particularly for exploring the hundreds of underground tunnels on the planet that were cut into the surface by ancient lava flows. 
These tunnels could potentially lead to a sheltered ecosystem that's been preserved for hundreds of millions of years. While the surface of Mars has been exposed to harsh conditions, the underground environment could hold some exciting discoveries for the Spot Robot team. Flying Machines Ingenuity has already completed several successful flights, including a record-breaking 3-minute flight that covered a distance of 50 meters. The drone can capture high-resolution images of the Martian surface and provide valuable data to scientists back on Earth. But this is just the beginning of aerial explorations on Mars. NASA is already planning to send a more advanced drone to the Red Planet in the future one that will be equipped with even more advanced sensors and capable of flying longer distances. This could revolutionize the way we explore Mars, allowing us to cover large areas quickly and efficiently. In addition to legs and helicopters, there's another emerging technology that could be used for Mars exploration, soft robotics. Spot robots are designed with flexible, elastic materials that allow them to move in ways that traditional rigid robots cannot. These robots can crawl, slither, and even swim, making them ideal for exploring difficult terrains like the underground caves of Mars. Spot robots could also be used to search for signs of life on the Red Planet, as they can be designed to be non-invasive and gentle on delicate ecosystems. As we continue to explore Mars and push the boundaries of robotic technology, it's clear that there are endless possibilities for what we can achieve. From exploring underground caves to flying over vast canyons, there's still so much to discover on this mysterious planet. With the help of robots like Spot and Ingenuity, as well as emerging technologies like soft robotics, we're well on our way to unlocking the secrets of Mars and expanding our understanding of the universe around us. This is where the idea of building habitats on Mars comes in. NASA has been exploring different ways to construct habitat structures on Mars using materials found on the planet itself. One idea is to use a 3D printer to print out habitats using Martian soil, also known as regolith. This would involve heating the regolith to turn it into a kind of concrete that can be used for building. NASA has already tested this technology in a Mars-like environment and found that it's a viable method for building structure on the Red Planet. Another idea is to use inflatable habitats that can be transported to Mars and then inflated inside the building once they arrive. These habitats are lightweight and can be packed tightly for the journey to Mars, making them a more practical option for transporting to a planet. The inflated habitats provide a pressurized environment for humans to live in and can be designed to provide all the necessary resources for human survival, including air, water, and food. Their design, called Red Hab, is essentially a dome structure made out of a special type of concrete that would be inflated on the surface of Mars. Once the concrete hardened, it would be able to withstand extreme Martian conditions such as radiation and dust storms. The structure would also be filled with a special gel that would be able to provide insulation and act as a radiation shield. The gel would be made out of a mixture of Martian soil and a plant-based polymer, which would be able to absorb and disperse any harmful radiation that might penetrate the surface. The Red Hab would be built using autonomous construction robots that would be able to navigate the rocky terrain and create the foundation for the structure. The robots would also be able to 3D print the concrete dome, as well as install the insulation gel and any necessary utilities, such as airlocks and life support systems. The entire structure would be completely self-sufficient, powered by solar panels and equipped with a closed-loop life support system that would be able to recycle water and air. Hassel and Eckersilsi Alcaligan believe that their Red Hab design could be the key to establishing a permanent human settlement on Mars. Not only would it provide a safe and comfortable living space for astronauts, but it could also be used as a base for scientific research and exploration. And with the help of autonomous construction robots, building such a structure on Mars may not be as far-fetched as it once seemed. This brings us to the end of this video. What do you think will happen in the next few years? Let us know what you think in the comments section. 
Remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.